What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ops here, and we are back with another install. Today, we're going to be installing the engine technology cold air intake on the V6 Penta Starter engine. And we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy installed. Let's hop right into this video. All right, so the first thing we got to do is get this cover off. Uh, I'm using a T27 bit. Just pop that right up like that. Set this to the side. And the screw is right here. to the side. And then just tuck at it. First couple things we wanna do is loosen these clamps here. All right. And then we also want to loosen this temperature uh, sensor harness here. I am using a 5 16th. All right, so I got these two clamps loosened here. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is take out this temperature sensor here. So what I'm gonna do is lift up, there's a red tab here. I'm gonna lift up on that and then just pull it straight out. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is pull out the two of the factory air intake. And then we also wanna loosen and pull out this crankcase tube over here. So that literally, this whole thing should just come out just like that. Sit that to the side. This right here, this tube, this tube wraps around the back of the engine there. This is the crankcase tube. You wanna go ahead and remove that. Just pull it straight out. So the next thing we wanna do is pull this air uh, box up out. But first you want to lift up the trim. I want to show you guys an up close of how these tabs work. So it's so I got this one out. You, you can see it's like a T, right? So what you want to do is take and stretch one side and then it comes off easy. All right, so same thing here. You want to take, stretch one side over, get that off and then it pops out easy. Now that I have this loosened right here, put that out the way. Right. We can just literally pull this whole air box straight up. Just give it a little tug, and the whole thing should come up and out. Now with this, with this uh, engine. Um, air intake, it reutilizes this grommet here on the bottom. All right, so we wanna make sure we go ahead and remove that from the factory uh, air box. All right, so since I have the throttle body in, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a combo video. Um, so this video is now how to install not only the um, the cold air intake by engine, but it's also gonna be how to install the Modern Muscle Extreme MMX um, 80 millimeter V8 to V6 throttle body. All right, so <clears throat> this is the new um, adapter that we're gonna be putting on here. This is the uh, adapter that allows the V8 throttle body, the 80 millimeter throttle body to be attached to our V6 pinna starter. 
they do give you a grommet there. They also give you the necessary screws. And this is the most important piece. This is the harness. If you guys remember, this tab right here was the temperature sensor that we took out of the air intake, all right? This tab here is the harness that goes into the throttle body, all right? So again, to take this off, all you gotta do is pull that tab forward, all right? And then lightly tug so that it releases itself from the throttle body. There is also a tab here holding it on to the throttle body. This is like the, the extra um, wiring right here. So with that, you're literally just gonna pull this right off of here, all right? All right, so we have all of that disconnected. We're gonna just push that out the way a little bit. All right, so there are four screws. One, two, three, four. These four screws are gonna be removed and this whole thing is gonna pop out. All right, so again, we're using the 5 16th socket. Let's go ahead and get that done. So we got those four screws removed and this literally pops right out. All right, so you guys can see the difference in size. Here's the back, all right? So obviously there is a difference there and we all know the more air that gets into your intake manifold, uh, you know, the more power that you make overall, right? All right, so this rubber piece right here, this green rubber piece, you wanna make sure that stays in place. Um, they don't provide a additional one there. So this right here is gonna be staying in place, All right? This right here is our new adapter. We wanna go ahead and get that installed. All right. So I wanna show you up close of what's going on with that. All right, so there are three holes here. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then there are two holes here. You wanna make sure that the three holes are facing, facing this way, just how I have it there. Reason being, if I take this back off, there are two notches here. Those two notches go into these two um, third holes here. All right, so you wanna set it up there so all right and it fits right into place like that all right so once our adapter is attached to the engine there are four screws like this that come with uh the rings you want to go ahead and get all four of those put on like that then they also provided screws four screws that just has a regular Phillips head and these bigger holes here, that's where the Phillips head screws are going into. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get that installed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next thing you wanna do is take your throttle body and the gasket, you wanna line up the gasket to the throttle body. All right, so that's gonna be lined up there. And remember, we're putting this back on the same exact way we took it off. All right, so the screws that's going in there will be the screws that we put the ring on, all right? The longer screws. You wanna get one through. So you're going to tighten that there. So now that's sitting there, we could go ahead and work on the rest of the screws. All right, so the new screws that they give you here that you're going to put in, it is a number five. Allen wrench. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get that So if you guys remember, <clears throat> this is the clip that we took off of the original throttle body, all right? They do have a um, harness here that they provide you. You wanna go ahead and get that installed. All right, so that goes into the harness there. Push this tab to lock it in place. And then this part, of it is going to slide into the new daughter body and then again push that red tab down and now that's locked in place now we're going to resume our cold air intake install um, yeah let's go ahead and get that done all right, so if you guys remember, the last thing we did for our cold air intake was we picked up the engine bay trim here, and then we totally picked up that air um, box that was over there. All right, so this is the factory air tube, right? What we want to do is go ahead and remove uh, the temperature sensor. You're going to want to twist the temperature sensor the opposite way of the arrow that's on. It's probably a little hard for you guys to see, but there's an arrow here pointing this way. You want to twist the sensor that way. All right, so we're going to put that in there. We're going to twist that like so. I went ahead and got that removed. Um, if yours like mine, this will be a little difficult to remove specifically because once you twist it this rubber piece right here um is still holding it in pretty good so i had to take some pliers and very carefully pull up um so that it was able to release itself but this is very important you don't want to mess this up you don't want to break this um so we're going to go ahead and put this to the side in a safe place all right guys so we have our heat shield here um, if you guys remember that grommet, we took out the original air box. We went ahead and installed that on the bottom of the new heat shield that came with the cold air intake. This bolt here will need to be loosened. This down here is where the heat shield with that grommet sits on. And then there's another bolt that's underneath here. We're also going to need to Loosen that so that we can put 
um, or attach the new heat shield. In order to do that, we're going we are going to have to remove this cover here. All right, so there are two, there are one, two, three, four, five, six pins. I'm thinking we're going to have to remove in order to access that bolt that's underneath there. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so we went ahead and got those removed. Now we can access this bolt right here. This is the one that we need to take off in order to put uh, that new heat shield on. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the adapter that it came with along with the four screws that it came with. We're gonna go ahead and get that attached to the heat shell. So with the heat shell sticking upward, the adapter is going to go in like this. All right, so it's gonna seat in like that. And then you're going to put the four screws in. All right, so if you guys remember, we have to take this one out here, and then underneath here, we have to take out the second one. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so we took those out. The long one that goes on the side here, that's gonna be a 13 millimeter socket, and then the short one, that goes right here, all right? That's gonna be a 10 millimeter. All right, so you guys can see, this is where the screw lines up for the heat shield, all right? This is where this one lines up for the heat shield. And then if you guys remember, underneath there, right there is where that grommet was sitting in place um, and we went ahead and pushed that directly on there. All right, so we went ahead and got this screw right here put back in and then this one right here put back in. All right, guys. So if you remember, we already put the coupling on here, the three and a half to three inch coupling by Spectra. Um, engine also provided their uh, reducer. All right, so that coupling goes on like so. All right, it comes with two clamps. Um, their reducer goes onto the filter. The reducer that we purchased goes onto the daughter body. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed and then we're going to clamp everything down. All right, so we went ahead and got that all connected. All right, we also went ahead and put in our temperature uh, sensor there. Um, if you guys do this setup with the new throttle body, being that this coupling is here, is going to extend this way, how far the temperature sensor is. Um, as you can see, this line isn't really that long. So what you're gonna to have to do is take out this rivet here from this um, point here, just to give this harness a little more play. And then you'll be able to extend this over um, into your cold air intake. All right, so I also went ahead and connected the crankcase line here to the air intake holes. This elbow right here comes with the vehicle. You will have to slice that, all right, and then literally pull it off and then put uh, the line right into the new piece that's provided by engine.
All right, so this is just a close up of how everything looks. All right, so we got the new uh, 80 millimeter throttle body on there with the adapter. All right, so this is the air intake. This is the heat shield. They go to filter down there. All right, everything is connected up. We're gonna go ahead and put the cap back on. Um, and then we'll give you guys a few revs. All right, so we are in the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and get it cranked up. As you guys can see, no check engine light. Everything is fine. guys so if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment all right y'all stay blessed peace out